A leader summit between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo may take place in the coming month. Uh, will the three sides be able to sustain their partnership based on Kemp David's spirit, even after leadership transitions in the U.S. and Japan? Our Oh Seung has more. South Korea, the United States and Japan are leaning towards holding a leader summit soon after the U.S. presidential election and multilateral summits in mid-November, according to President Yoon song yeols office. National Security Advisor Shin won said in a broadcast interview on Sunday that while a leader summit between the three countries is physically difficult before the APEC and G20 conferences in mid-November, there's a growing consensus that it should take place as soon as possible. This comes after U.S. President Joe Biden proposed holding a three-way summit to build on the Camp David spirit, reflecting on their landmark meeting last year. The message was conveyed to the South Korean leader through Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Thursday, according to Yoon's office. At their Camp David summit, Yoon, Biden and then-Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida agreed to institutionalize trilateral cooperation on deterring North Korea and on other strategic areas such as economic security, supply chains and technology, as well as consult each other on regional security challenges. While Yun and the new Japanese leader Shigeru Ishiba last week agreed on furthering efforts to advance their ties, the future of the so-called Camp David mechanism depends on political leadership from all three sides. So all eyes are on the upcoming US presidential race next month. I think a lot of it is going to depend on who's in Washington because as we've seen with Biden, he wants to help facilitate this coming together of South Korea and Japan. And I'm sure President Harris would do that too. But if Trump is president, he's going to be going at each of these countries individually over burden sharing costs, trade or whatnot. And there won't be as much of a push or a forum created from Washington to have the two leaders get together. Still, the expert is optimistic that the three countries may be compelled to maintain their partnership as long as the Russia-China-North Korea axis endures. So on the economic and the institutional isolation, I want to see some more substance. But so long as Beijing, Moscow and Pyongyang keep up their antics, I, there will be a strong uh, urge and natural coalescence among the three. Amid North Korea's continued provocations and rhetoric aimed at South Korea, the National Security Advisor shrugged off speculation that North Korea is preparing for war, asserting that Pyongyang will not start a war unless it decides to commit suicide, saying it's best to ignore the North's recent claims that Ho sent drones to Pyongyang. He said what Kim Jong-un fears the most are internal threats and has likely played up the sense of threat domestically to tighten the regime's control. Regarding the possibility of North Korea conducting its seventh nuclear test, Shin forecasts that North Korea would choose a strategically favorable time that maximizes impact, possibly around the time of the U.S. presidential election. Oh Seung, Arirang News.